women and girls are too often subjected to abuse, harassment and violence. Enough is enough. Today we have published a new Tackling Violence Against Women and Girls strategy. It will build on the progress we have made in recent years. The strategy we have published today sets out action to prioritise prevention, support victims, pursue perpetrators and help make sure the police, education, local authorities, prison and probation services and others work together more effectively. As I say, it has been uh, shaped by a call for evidence which we ran earlier this year and which received more than 180,000 responses. The first responsibility of any government is the safety and security of its citizens. Today, rape prosecutions are at a record low. Domestic abuse in this country is soaring, charging is falling. Sexual abuse in school is being normalised according to the recent Ofsted inspections. Ending violence against women and girls is a cross-party issue. On all sides of this House, there is a profound concern and desire for an ambitious strategy that would deliver. Mr Speaker, the strategy today is not ambitious enough. There are things to welcome. A policing lead on violence against women is certainly one of them. But we already have one for domestic abuse, one for rape and sex offences, another for historic sexual abuse and one for child sex abuse. So why will this one succeed where others have struggled without the resources to properly tackle the issue? 